We going live. I I can hear you. Can you I hear me? Can you, you still hear me? We live. Turn. We're live on Facebook. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. My God. Oh, taste and see that the Lord, he is good, and his mercy endureth unto all generations. We just bless the Lord this morning, and he's so good to us. We have all crossed over from tw July 20, 2020 to July 21st, 2020. Many didn't even make it, my God, in the name of Jesus. But we just bless the Lord this morning for an opportunity that we have a new day ahead of us, a new journey before the Lord. And we praise God for it now. It is now 1224. We're a little early, but my God, it's better to be early than late. My God, in the name of Jesus. And so we are so happy today to see all of the warriors on the line this morning. And we give God the praise and we give him the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. We just bless him today. He's so good to us and kind to us in Jesus' mighty name. And we're going to go ahead and get started. My God, in the name of Jesus, and we just bless them today in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, God. We're going to open up in prayer. We Let me see. Who can I ask? Kristen, will you open us in prayer this morning? I can't hear you. Unmute yourself. <laughs> Got to oh, do yeah. it this time. All right, I'm on music. Can you hear me? Okay. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for this time of prayer. I thank you for every single prayer warrior that's on right now. Oh God, I thank you for allowing us to intercede on behalf of your people and on behalf of for your will to be done, oh God. So as we all come together right now and pray, I would just pray that we are all encouraged. I pray that your will be done, that um, we take heed to what your will is. And that we just stand back and we just say, okay, God, whatever it is, and let us do it. And let us uh, just truly be on one accord with you. We love you and we do praise you. Thank you for this time in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, amen. 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 We do give God the glory and the praise, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to get started. We're going to pray our worship song this morning. And it's coming to us. Uh, from, from Dunny McClurkin, stand, my God, hallelujah. When you've done the world, you can, man. Seems like it's never ending. And what do you say when you're instead away? You're all When you give in your own hand, seems like you can't make it through. Yeah. Well, you just stand the wind, there's nothing left to do. You just stand and watch the Lord see you through. Yes, after you've done all you can. You just mm. Tell me how do you handle guilt of your past? Tell me how do you deal with the shame? And how can you smile while your heart has been broken? And with pain, with pain. My God, my God. Tell me what do you give when you're giving your own pain? Seems like you can't make it through. Child, you just stand and watch the Lord see you through. Yes, after you've done all you can. 
understand when there's nothing left to do. You just send one last thought to you through. Yes, you win. Yes, after you've done all you can. You just stand and be sure. And be sure. My God, my God, I believe every one of us on the line, hallelujah, has been in a place where we have done everything. Well, go, go, shout out. Oh, glory to God. How am I my soul? Woo, bless the name of God. We've done all we can. We didn't pray all we could pray. We didn't spoke in tongues. We didn't read all the scriptures we can read. And seeming like that mountain didn't even move, not even an eye on it. My God, that all we found ourselves in a place to do is just stand. Oh, glory to God. We never thought that there was power in just standing. Ha, glory to God. He says, stand still. Hallelujah. Fear not. Stand still, he said, and see the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. We got to learn to just be still and stand. My God, in the name of Jesus. I'm looking at being able to stand. You in a position. So when it when the light, green light, come on, you're able to go. Ha, glory to God. You're able to cross the crosswalk, but you're in a position to move forward. But if you're sitting, you can't do that. Hallelujah. If you're laying down, you can't. But a standing position is a ready position. My God, holy I bless the Lord this morning. I'm so happy, glad, my God, just to know that there's deliverance in the standing. There's breakthrough in the standing. My God, hallelujah, God. Woo, we bless the Lord this morning. 
for his goodness and his mercy. Our scripture, oh, well, we're going to start off with prayer. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we're going to come. You all know your order. You know your time. My God, so just begin to bombard heaven. Hallelujah. And I'm just going to praise and uplift the name of Jesus because I'm standing right now in his mighty name. I'm not going out. I'm not in the elements. My God, I'm not in the crowd. I'm in a position of standing, my God, and determined, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus to stay in a place of safety in your mighty name, God. Now, we're going to begin with our prayer. Come on, come on, Sister Theta. Unmute your phone and tell Jesus about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unmute your phone. My Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to read this quick scripture. Yes. This is Ephesians 6, starting at the 11th verse. It says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in these evil days and having done all, stand, stand therefore. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come tonight thanking and praising you for hallelujah, another day, God, and giving us the will, oh God, the strength. You know that like the, the, the widow woman, when I mean, she came to the man of God and, and her baby was dead on the bed. And she said, it is well, it is well. God, we know that is standing on your word, standing on everything that we know. God, standing on everything that we have learned. Father, standing on everything thing that is within us, oh God. And we just ask you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, to help us to stand. God, because we are living in a time when we have to know who we are, we have to know whose we are, and God, we have to be able to stand because things come against us. People come against us, oh God. And they, they say things, and we have to know that we know that we know that we know God. God, and we have to stand. Father, and we're just asking you tonight to strengthen us, give us the courage, God, because we're going to need the courage to stand, Father. We're going to need the courage to do what's necessary to be done, God, and sometimes we have to stand against those that we love, but God, when we know the truth, we have to stand on the truth, oh God. When we know the truth, we have to stand right where we are and say, God, this is what we have to do. And we have to tell the truth, oh God. We have to be the ones to deliver the truth, oh God. We have to stand, Father, and we thank you. God, and I think about the other widow woman. And she didn't have any food in her house. The man of God, he came to her and asked for food. And she said, I only have enough for me and my child, but she gave because she believed and she was blessed. She was blessed. She and her son was blessed with food until the, the storm was over, God. And we thank you. God, we know that we can lean and depend on you. We can trust in you, oh God. We can trust in you, oh God, no matter what, because you say it. I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you, God. And you're not a man that you should lie. And you're no shorter than your word, oh God. And we bless and praise your holy name tonight. God, you're so worthy. You're so worthy. You're so worthy to be praised, Father. We just glorify you, God. We lift up your holy name, God. Thank you for giving us the strength. Thank you for giving us the courage, oh God. Thank you for giving us the fortitude, oh God. Thank you for doing everything for us that we need, oh God. 
God, you said we could look to the hills from which cometh our help. And our help comes from you, God, and we thank you tonight. Oh, God, we thank you tonight. We can just look back over our lives, God, and we can see every time, every time that things came upon us, that we were able to stand. It was all because of you, all because of you, Father. And we thank and praise you, God. You're so good. You're so kind and you're so merciful. And we love you so much. And we appreciate everything you do for us, oh God. We bless your holy name tonight, God. We bless your holy name because you're so worthy. You're worthy to be praised, oh God. And we thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he's good and his mercy endureth forever. God, we thank you tonight. Bless your name, God. Bless your name, bless your name, bless your name, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Glory, 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 glory to your name, oh God. Glory to your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Glory to your name, God. Glory, glory, glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, just help us to stand, God. Help us to stand. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Glory to God. Glory to God. I will be um, reading a couple of scriptures this evening, but not long. First scripture, Isaiah 40 and 8. The grass withers and the flowers fade, mm -hmm. but the word of our God stands forever. Ever. Yeah, yeah. Psalms 33 and 11. But the Lord's plans stand firm forever. His intentions can never be shaken. And then Psalms 18 and 33. He makes me as sure footed as a deer, enabling me to stand on mountain heights. And I've came from the New Living Translation on tonight. And so with our focus tonight being stand, we know. Um, that is God's word that lasts forever. Everything else is gonna go away. But what God says is gonna stand. It doesn't go nowhere, it don't bend, it don't shake, it stands and it's there. And when we stand on the firm foundation, we are elevated, we are prosperous because we stand on God's word. I don't care what it looks like, um, it just, it doesn't matter because God is God and what he says uh, settles it. God said it, that settles it. That's the song that we used to say. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word that stands firm and, and lasts throughout the test of time. Your word was there in the beginning. It was there uh, with uh, David. It was there with Abraham. It was there with Moses. It was theirs with Jesus when Jesus became uh, uh, flesh. He was the word. He the word became flesh, and so I and it was there. And so I and I know that the word is going on now. So Father God, we thank you. We thank you that your word still manifests now. The things that you said in your word and have proclaimed. Yeah. thousands and thousands of years ago ah, is still God. going on now and it's coming to pass now hallelujah thank you jesus oh god so we as your people don't have to be fearful we don't have to fret because i know that the spirit of fear is trying to come in to shake us i know that the spirit of fear is trying to come in to give us anxiety i know the spirit of fear is trying to come in and give us depression i know yeah. the spirit of fear is coming in to just try to strangle us and try to choke us but god your word stands and you told us to be anxious for nothing, be anxious for nothing, but to fix our thoughts on whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, oh God. So we can fix our thoughts on this word, on this word that says that you are, that we, that you are our refuge, even in times of trouble, that you, um, that you love us. It doesn't matter. There's nothing that can separate us from your love. Can death, can 
can um, demons, can angels, nothing can separate us from your love. So even though it looks gloomy, even though things are shaky outside, God, we know that you still love us. We know that that we find our identity, God, in you, oh God. It is not, we are not defined, oh God, by what people say. We are not even defined by what we say. We are not defined by society. We are not defined by the media. We are not defined by TV. We are not defined by our family members, but we are defined and we find our identity in you, oh God. So we're going to stand because you said that um, even before we were formed in our mother's womb, you saw us, oh God. You told us that you know every hair on our head, oh God. So because you know us, you know what we are capable of, you know what is, you know what you have put inside of us, oh God. So we know that we can trust and we can depend on you, oh God. The word says in Philippians, oh God, um, that we are that uh that uh he who has begun a good work in you as is able to complete it into the day of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I know that whatever you place on the inside of me, oh God, it's it's still good. I don't care what mistakes that we have we that we have made. I don't care uh uh what has tried to stop us, oh God, but you have created a good work and you are able to complete it. You are able to complete it, oh God. So when we when we uh when we come up against things, when things are not looking favorable, oh God, all we have to do is stand on your word. All we have to do is look back and we can see how you were there for David. All we have to do is look back and see how you were there for Moses. All we have to do is look back and see how you were there for your disciples. All we have to do is look back and see how the prophets of old were speaking the things that are happening today. They didn't know nothing. They didn't they didn't see this. They didn't know what this time was going to look like, but you gave them prophecies, oh God. And yet we are still here today, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Your word stands forever. Hallelujah. We do not have to fear. We do not have to fret, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. I don't care what comes. COVID, oh God. Yes, it's here, oh God, but you are still our keeper. You are still our protector. You still Still get the glory because even when people can't say everything that's going on oh god we know that you have the final say we know even though that all this other stuff may be going on people don't even understand it god we know that you see we know that you saw the beginning we know that you see the middle we know that you see the end oh god so whatever it is oh god we know that we can hold our hands in you oh god and even so we have to cry sometimes because people have died, oh God, of COVID. People have died, oh God, of cancer. People have died, oh God, of just any other type of sicknesses and diseases, oh God. You said in your word, oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? Because you defeated death when you went on that cross and you rose again on the third day, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, oh God. Death no longer has that same power. Yes, we cry on this time because we miss people. Uh, we miss the fellowship, oh God. We miss uh, singing with them. We miss them. We just miss their very presence, oh God. But God, we know that if they were in you, oh God, that we will see them again. That death is not the end. Death doesn't get the victory. Death does not win. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, oh God. So we can stand firm because that's what you said. And as we said in the beginning, oh God, whatever it is that you say, it's settled. It's settled. So we're not going to worry up here. We're not going to, we're not going to fall into the trick of the enemy. Even when he said, when he comes to us, like he came to uh, Eve, did God really say, we're going to stand firm and we're going to say, yes, this is what God said. This is what God said. You will not change my mind. You, I will not be shaken. We'll do what God says the Lord. This is what God said. I will be obedient. I will go forth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We'll believe God and we will be like Jesus. When the enemy tries to turn the word and twist it, oh God, we will say, hey, get behind me. Thus is written. This is what we will say. This is what's written. And we will tell the enemy and we will put him back in his place and we will let him know he is defeated. He doesn't get the glory. I don't care what it looks like. He does not win. There's too many witnesses, oh God. The word says, for we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. There's too many people that have recovered from COVID. There's too many people that have survived racial injustice. There's just too many people that, that have made it, oh God. And you have said in your word that we need to take heart because you have overcome the world, oh God. We 
we take heart, oh God. We know that we have to face many trials. We know that we have to face many tribulations, oh God. The word also says uh, that the prayers of the righteous avail as much, oh God. So that's what we are doing here on this time. We are lifting up prayers because we know that they're going to avail. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your word, your word avails. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we thank you for the intercessor. Thank you for the prayer warriors, oh God, who are choosing to lift up your name during this time, oh God, who are choosing to, to stay on their knees, oh God, who are choosing to fight the battle through prayer, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, because no matter what it looks like, oh God, hallelujah, prayer is a weapon. Thank you, Jesus. Prayer is a mighty weapon. We won't let the enemy tell, tell, tell us that prayer don't mean anything, that we're not moving mountains, oh God. Because we are. Mountains are being moved because the prayer warriors are taking their rightful place. Thank you, Jesus. The praise and worship leaders are taking their rightful place, oh God. This is the season where everybody gets back in the kingdom, gets back into place. And we start using the weapons like you told us to, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. If you told us to pray, that's what we're going to do. If you told us to sing, that's what we're going to do. If you told us to just lift your name up, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's what we're going to do. If you told us to carry the ark, if you told us to carry your Holy Spirit, that's what we're going to do. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to get into alignment. We're going to meet our assignment for what you told us to do during this time, oh God. And we will not be shaken, oh God. We will proclaim your word, oh God. We will proclaim your word, oh God. We will stand on it, oh God. We will stand on it, oh God. We will stand on it, oh God. So just like you told Job when he was going through and he had lost everything. Were you there when this was created? And Job had to back up and say, no, I wasn't. You know the beginning from the end, oh God. Hallelujah. If anybody knows, you know, oh God. So we've got to trust in you. We've got to hold your hand. We've got to believe in you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, oh God. And when we get discouraged, oh God, I pray that we connect with one another, oh God. Because you said we're two or three are gathered. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, oh God. You send us out two by two, oh God. So that when one of us fall, the other one can pick us back up. So when we're discouraged, oh God, that we will have that partner, oh God, right there to pick us back up and say, come on, we can make it. Come on, we can walk through this. Because God is our head. God is our head. And because he is our head, we are not the tail. We are not the tail. I don't care what it looks like. Hallelujah. God, we praise your name. God, we worship you, oh God. There's nothing, nothing too hard for you, oh God. But we're going to stand on your word, oh God. We're going to look back through this Bible, oh God. We're going to count in all those cloud of witnesses, oh God. Hallelujah, because it doesn't just stop with us, oh God. There was people from the beginning, oh God. Hallelujah, that believed in you, oh God. That stood firm in you, oh God. No matter what came and no matter what went, they stood firm in you, oh God. They chose to believe in you, oh God. So God, during this time, we're going to believe in you. We're going to believe in you, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way. Have your way in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Oh, beautiful prayer, passionate prayer. Hallelujah, praying the truth, saying the truth. Hallelujah. Yes, we're gathered together in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My scripture comes from Luke 23, or the scripture that I've chosen. Luke 23, 49th verse. And it says, all his acquaintances and the women that followed him from Galilee stood afar off beholding these things. And this is the event where Jesus Christ was crucified. But the women were there. Ha! Well, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Because of the Levitical law, they stood afar off. But when it came down, when it came time to take care of business, they were right there. Amen. Hallelujah! And we know that God always has the women Hallelujah, in place. Hallelujah, as my sister 
proclaim, exclaim, amen, amen. There, girded with strength from above, from on high, to do the work that the Lord God has given his handmaidens to do. And I'm thankful, hallelujah, Father God, I'm thankful to be a part of this group of women, hallelujah. We may be afar off, but Lord God, because of you, we are very effective in what you have assigned us to do. I'm in awe, Father God, I am in awe. We are here, Lord God, to encourage your people, to encourage your handiwork, to encourage your workmanship, Father God. We don't know who you've selected to come to you. We don't know who you're going to draw. Hallelujah. But we know that you said that you so loved the world. Hallelujah. That you gave your only begotten son so that whoever would believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so we are coming together in the name of your only begotten son, born of a virgin, Jesus, our redeemer, our savior, our high priest, our best friend. He said he calls us friends. Lord God, he's also our husbandman. As the sister stated, the head. <laughs> Woo, glory, hallelujah. The head, not the tail. And it's not about what we can see in the physical realm, but it's what we know in our spirit that connects us and that strengthens us. Hallelujah. That gives us the impetus to go forward, to move forward in spite of, Father God, you know, we don't know what to expect from day to day. Hallelujah. Much less from hour to hour, minute to minute, second to second. We have, Father God, given ourselves to you. Hallelujah. To be, hallelujah, examples of what you can do through your creation, mankind. You made and created man and woman in your image, and you blessed them, it states in Genesis, the 27th and 28th chapter, dear God. And you have put in motion what you would have us to do. And Lord God, we're here to encourage everyone that you are going to draw to this feature, this meeting, this gathering as it is in the name of your son to be strengthened, to be told, oh yes, you can do it. Well, actually you can't do it. <laughs> you have to let God do it through you. Amen. You have to let God bless you through his son, Jesus Christ. No, you can't do it. If that's what you've been saying, I can't do this and I can't do that. And I try this and I try that. Well, praise God. Hopefully you've come to the end of yourself because God said, and I heard this, I believe it was Sherry say, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Stand still and hear what the Lord has to say to you to me. And it is the Lord God Almighty. Woo, glory to God. It is the Lord God Almighty that is in charge. He is over the kingdom of man. And Lord God, I thank you. Thank you for that truth. Thank you for that truth. And Daniel, it explains and it, it in detail how God is always in control control. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, for your word. I thank you, dear God, for your word. I thank you, Lord God, that when we read the word, we're not just reading print, but your word is spirit and it is life. Hallelujah. And it comes alive in us. I thank you, Father God, that you have every situation covered. Lord God, I thank you that you've gone into such Im Im immaculate, such precise detail to describe, hallelujah, how you work in situations, how we need not fear, how you have given us, hallelujah, authority 
Hallelujah. A sound mind. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus that you let us know constantly, repeatedly that you love us Woo! and that you are always there for us. And Father God, I really enjoy and so appreciative that you put in place your prayer warriors to pray for others who are not even in the fold yet. Hallelujah. For you covered us before we accepted your son, Jesus Christ, before we even knew Hallelujah. How much that we would need you. We didn't have a clue. Hallelujah. That you even knew us. Hey, hallelujah. But you had your word. And then along with your word, you had your men servant and you had your maid servants in place to feed us, to nourish us, to encourage us. Hallelujah. You have taken care of us every microsecond of our being and we praise you for it we bless you we thank you hallelujah you've gone so far as to say that you even collect our tears Woo! when we cry you collect our tears hallelujah you collect them and save them for that day of wrath lord god you are an amazing amazing being we can't fathom how amazing how wonderful how awesome you are are we can't ask them how detailed you are we cannot comprehend hallelujah the, the awesome love that you have for us we thank you dear god that we do have the understanding that we do have as minute as it is we do know that you are a loving caring father that you do everything necessary to keep us standing hallelujah to keep us standing hallelujah standing physically when we need to standing mentally standing emotionally as well as standing physically you take care of everything Woo! even the things we don't know about you address them you've addressed them and you address them and you will continue to address them. How can we see around the corner? We can't even see around the corner. Hallelujah. We have so much technical advancements, but we still can't see around the corner. Hey! But you see way down the road. Hallelujah. You know what you're going to have us to do. You know our heart. You know the intent, the very intent of our heart. We don't even know, but you know, and you love us. Ha, woo, glory. And you have everything precisely in place. Father God, you are awesome. You are absolutely meticulously awesome. Before the foundation of the earth, you had Jesus in place. And Jesus didn't become Jesus until Jesus took on humanity. That is mind boggling. But he was with you in the beginning. <laughs> Who would have thought it? Who would have thought that you could send a spirit to do what you had your only begotten son to do? Who would have thought that you would actually send a spirit, hallelujah, to become a human being, hallelujah, and yet keep divine attributes. Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? We thank you, dear God. We need not figure or try to figure out anything because we can't even figure out what we're going to be like five years from now if you so desire for us to be here five years from now. So Lord God, so Lord God, you tell us to rest in you. Amazing, amazing. You say rest in you, cast all our cares upon you for you care for us. Oh, oh. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bring to you Father, every troubled mind we bring to you every troubled mind every troubled heart every troubled emotion every troubled spirit 
hallelujah, every tormented spirit, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, especially, especially those who call on the name of your son, those who have been born again, the enemy coming at them, like a sister said, left and right. We come against you, Satan. The blood of Jesus Christ is already against you. We command you, loose your hold. Loose your hold of God's people. You take your hands off of God's people. Shut your mouth. Shut up. Don't talk to him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, may your word, may the word, your word that they have already heard, may the seed of your word take root, tap root, strong, deep, thick, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. May the word, your word that has entered their ears, enter their heart and manifest good, hallelujah, and manifest wondrous works in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Father God, we know, we know that your word, when you send it out, will not return void, but will accomplish that which you sent it out to do. So we say thank you. We bless you. We praise you that every word that you have sent out will produce good fruit. You said that when two or three are gathered together in the name of your only begotten son, anything that we ask, whatsoever we ask, hallelujah, you, Father God, will do it because Jesus is in the midst. Bless the word, Lord. Bless the word that has been planted in every child. Hallelujah, regardless of age, in every man, in every woman servant, hallelujah, in every laborer in your vineyard, in the mighty name of Jesus, may they be strengthened, may they be girded up, hallelujah, may they be, may they be encouraged, and may they remember to speak your word in every circumstance. May they remember that they are your child and that you have endued them with power, authority, over all the authority of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come against every spirit that would weaken any one of your laborers anywhere in this planet, on this planet, in the mighty name of Jesus. Your beautiful, perfect, awesome will be done in your children of light. And may your children of light go forth like never before Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And may their words be so precise. May their discernment be so precise. Hallelujah, may they stand just the way you want them to stand. And that more souls, more souls will be brought into your kingdom. We wanna bring in those sheaves. We wanna bring in those sheaves and by faith, we say thank you for the souls that will come into the kingdom of God. We thank you in advance for those souls that will accept your only begotten son, Jesus Christ, as their Lord and Savior. We thank you, Father God, for the words that you give us to utter that souls may be born again in the mighty name of your only begotten son, Jesus, and stand firm in your word, in your love, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, amen. Amen, amen. I'm coming from 1 Corinthians 16 and verse 13 from the New Living <clears throat> Translation. Be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we lift up your intercessors. We lift up the watchmen on the wall. We lift up those that are laboring before your throne day and night, oh God. We thank you right now, God, for every assignment that you have given, Lord God, to the watchmen. We thank you for every clarity, every vision, writing the vision and making it plain, God. <clears throat> thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that Lord God, that as we are on the wall, 
that Lord, we are choosing like Nehemiah to not come down from the wall, no matter what the naysayers say, no matter what our own mind and imaginations will come at us. Lord, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus that God, we will stand firm in the faith because Lord, we know that you have given all of us, all your children, a measure of faith. And so God, we operate in faith. We move by faith. We hear by faith. We listen by faith. We live by faith. We pray by faith. Everything we do, we do it by faith, God, because we trust you to be a God who is faithful. We trust you, oh God, to continue to lead us and guide us by day and by night. Lord, we declare, we decree, we set forth the clarion call that every intercessor, every watchman, everyone that has an assignment, that you will be on guard in the name of Jesus, because we know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And God, we shall not be ignorant of the enemy's devices. God, let us not be overtaken, oh God. Let us not be overwhelmed, oh God. Let us not give ear to our own imagination. Let us not entertain those things that are going on in our heart, God. The, 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 the things that, that make us feel like we're unworthy, that make us feel like we're not, we don't know enough. Those things that cause us to falter, to fail, to bend. Lord, Lord God, but let us not bend so far that we'll be broken. But God, that when we bend, we hold on to faith. We call on faith. We call on you, God. We call on our Savior. We call on our God. We call on our Lord. We call on our Abba Father. We thank you, Lord God, that when we call on you, God, you help us to stand. You help us, oh God, to stand and see the salvation. God, you lead us to the rock that is higher than I. That, Lord, that we can be restored. That, Lord, like you send the ravens for Elijah out to Elijah, God, and you told him, Lord God, to go and sit and to eat, oh God. You sent the ravens, oh God, to feed the man of God, that he may be able to go 40 days and do what you have assigned for him to do. Let us not be weary and well doing in our assignments, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that God, that when we get back up, God, whenever we've been in that place of discouragement or despondency, God, that Lord, we will stand up and we will stand firm, oh God, because Lord, we have to be courageous. Lord, you told Joshua to be courageous, that you would not leave him, you will not forsake him, oh God. And so I command in the name of Jesus for every intercessor that's laying in bed right now crying, for every intercessor that's laying feeling discouraged, for every worker in the vineyard that is feeling like they don't have strength, I speak to your spirit right now in the name of Jesus. And I command you to stand. I command you to be courageous. I command you to hear the voice of the Lord. I command you to give entertainment to the angels, that you will entertain their, their encouragement. Then Lord God, in the name of Jesus, let them hear the angels' wings in the midnight season. Oh God, when they lay on the bed, oh God, in despondency, that Lord God, that you will speak, Lord God, that they should shall live and not die, God. They will not faint, oh God. They will not be weary in will doing, but God, if they stand, oh God, that they will see you, oh God, and they will see the fruit of their labor. They will see the fruit of their sacrifice for every man, every woman, every young adult that is moving under the voice of the Lord, who is hearing what God is saying. Do like Abraham did. And when God spoke to him and said, I want you to move out of this land because I'm going to make your seed great because I'm making a covenant with you and you will be great and your name will be great that you will stand and you will wrap whatever you got to wrap around you grab whoever you need to grab with you your brother your sister your mother your father whoever is standing in faith with you whoever is standing in agreement with you do not walk with naysayers do not walk with the pigeons but you need to soar like an eagle you need to have eyes with clarity. Get into the spirit realm. Go into the realm where all the Father can speak to you. Well, God can give us encouragement. Well, God will give you instructions. Do not be weary even in your hearing, says the Lord. You stand and see my salvation. You stand and be courageous, saith the Lord. Be strong and know that I am with you, 
says the Lord. Stand and know that I walk with you. Stand and know that I hear you. Stand and know that I see the tears. Stand and know that I see the weariness. Stand and know and be encouraged, says the Lord. Walk with me, says God. Know that I will not leave you. Know that I will not forsake you. I have won the victory, for the enemy will not overtake you, because I will cause you to hear my voice. I will cause you to walk in the day. I will cause you to walk in the noonday. I will cause you to walk at night, for I have given you light. I have given you instruction. I have encouraged your spirit, says the Lord. If you open up your ears unto me, says God, I will speak words of life to you. I will speak words of encouragement. I will give you a keenness and an awareness that the feet that are the places that you walk, that you will, you will have victory, says God. If you trust me this day, says God, if you trust me and you will know that I am with you, you will feel me because you are my friend. Like I told Moses to go up into the mountain and have, have communion with me. I call you you to that secret place that you will be strengthened. I call you into the secret place that I may lay my hands upon you. I call you into the secret place and I will speak words of life and affirmation. I call you into the secret place that I may love you and that I will give you life. Because I breathed upon man and he became a living soul. And I shall breathe upon you this day, says God. I will breathe the words that will give you strength, says God. But walk with me and I will lead you into a plain path. I will lead you into a place where you will be encouraged. I will lead you to the meadows grass where there is waters, living waters, that will bring refreshing unto you, my children. So stay on the wall, says God, for I am watching you and I have sent angels to speak to you this night to encourage you in the wee hours of the morning. For it is I, say of God, that desires to see you plenteous, to see you overcome, to see you walk in victory and declare what thus saith the Lord. For I have caused you to be a voice the one crying in the wilderness to those that have not heard my voice, but you are to cry and you are to cry loud and spare not. For I have ordained thee this day to declare my words, for you shall walk in victory. You shall walk in the authority that my son Jesus gave you when he died on the cross. Hear my voice, saith the Lord. Walk in the victory that I have declared unto you. Stand, hold your head up, says God. Be courageous, for you have territory to take. You have territory to win. You have territory that I will leave unto you that will be for those that will follow. So stay on the wall, my children. Stay, declare from the rooftops that I am the Lord, I God, and I change not. For I walk with thee this day. Thus saith the Lord. Father, we thank you for your word. And Lord God, we thank you that your word goes out and it does not return void. It accomplishes what it sets forth to do. And so God, in the wee hours of this morning, we thank you, oh God, for the encouragement to your people. We thank you, oh God, that you care enough about us, Jehovah Rohi, R-O-H-I, because you see us in the midnight. You see us in the morning. You see us in the noonday. You know our struggles. You know, God, the tears that we cry. You know, God, how we, like Hannah, we're pouring out our heart before you, oh God. And no, we are not drunken with wine. But God, we have petitions that we lay in before you. And so, God, you have encouraged your people today and that, Lord God, we will stand and we know that you have heard us. And we thank you tonight, God, for your glory being released upon your people. And God, we release this prayer time to you and we thank you for your faithfulness to us, God. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. 
Glory to God. Glory to God. We give God the glory this morning and the praise. My scripture is Joshua 1, hallelujah, 8 and 9. And it says, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you shall make and then you shall have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. Hallelujah. For the Lord your God is with you wheresoever you go. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our focus is just stand. Stand therefore with your armor on. Stand therefore in faith, my God. Stand therefore in the word of the most high God. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah, these are weapons. Hallelujah, somebody said prayer is a weapon. Stand therefore in prayer. Hallelujah, don't come off the wall. Stay on it today. In the name of Jesus, you might be broken hearted. Hallelujah, somebody broke your heart in little many bitty pieces my god but stand there for it hallelujah god you may not have a job today hallelujah but stand there for it. you might come out of a broken uh situation but stand there for it. hallelujah glory to god you might seem to be drowning hallelujah in despair but stand hallelujah in the name of jesus Hallelujah, you do all that you can. Hallelujah, we just got to stand. We come and found out that standing, hallelujah, is a good position to be in. Standing, hallelujah, tells folks that you ready, my God, to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, when you're sitting down, you're done with the work of the day. But when you stand, you got something else that you need to do. My God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, when your body is racked with pain, hey, glory to God, stand, my God, in the name of Jesus, in the hope of his healing that's coming forth today, in the mighty name of Jesus, you might have lost some loved ones, my God, to this coronavirus, but stand therefore, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Many have not even gone back to work, but stand anyhow in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In spite of the lies and the manipulation and the deception that's been told on the airways and the byways, God. We're going to stand on your word today. We're going to be of good courage. We're not going to be afraid. My God, hallelujah, because we know that you are with us every step of the way. It may not look like it. Hallelujah. How did we get from A to B? But that's because Jesus grabbed us put him us in his arms and he carried us through that thing. My God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, no weapon that is formed against us will prosper. My God, so we can stand, Woo, glory to God, hallelujah, we can stand in boldness. My God, we can stand in the strength of Jehovah. My God, hallelujah, the army that is against us may be many, yes, yes, but we are gonna stand because when I our eyes are open and see, hallelujah, that the angels, that the army of God that's with us is more than the enemy's army that is against us. My God, we can stand, my God, in the name of Jesus. When I only have a few more days to live, who glory to God. The doctor said, I'm only giving you a few more days to live, but hallelujah, God come back and say, I'm going to add some more days to your life. My God, in the name of Jesus, who bless the name of God. Only God can do it. My God, in the name of Jesus, they said you're going to die of these diseases. But God said no weapon formed against you. When the enemy comes in like a flood through these sickness and diseases, we got to, my God, my God, nothing can separate us from God's love. We have a weapon that we can hold on to. Hallelujah. A weapon of faith, a weapon of your word, 
a weapon of prayer. My God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I see us. I see us. My God, the believers, the body of Christ. I see us. We get it up, my God. As if though we got up out of the valley of the dry bones. My God, you put, hallelujah, God. You spoke life to us and we're standing up, God. A strong, mighty army. My God, we're going forth, oh God, in the things that you have given us to do. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. We're going forth in the word that you've spoken. We're going forth in the promises that you've given. Hallelujah to your name, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you today, God. You're so good to us, God. You never left us and you never will forsake us. My God, you said everywhere your feet trod, there's a blessing for you. Hallelujah. Every place your feet trod, it, it belongs to you. My God, claim it. My God is mine, mine, mine in Jesus' name. We thank you today, God. Thank you for the warriors, oh God, that has went forth, God. Hallelujah. You have declared good things upon us. You've spoken life to us. You've given us hope. My God, that don't make us ashamed. My God, we thank you for the witnesses. Yes, I heard somebody say about the witnesses. My God, that have gone before us. They're standing on the sideline. They're cheering us on and said you can make it. Hallelujah, because you got your hand in God's hand. Hallelujah, we serve a God that don't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. My God, if he said it, he's going to do it. Hallelujah. If he decreed it, it's going to come to pass. My God, in the name of Jesus, we bless the Lord today. We give him glory. We give him the praise. We give him the honor, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We can stand now. We can. My God, we know we can stand now. Hallelujah, because the word is given us today that we can stand, my God, fully armored, fully clothed, hallelujah, with the righteousness of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Stand because he got a purpose for us, hallelujah, and a destiny. He got a plan, my God, that do us good, but no evil, my God, in the name of Jesus, a plan that's going to bring us to the expected end. Hallelujah. We standing in the expectation today. We standing because the future glory that we're going to enter into. Who bless the name of God. We stand it because we know Jesus is coming back for us. My God, without spot or wrinkle or any such blemish in us. Hallelujah. He's preparing us right now God, as we stand. My God, he's doing us. He's cleaning us. He's washing us. He's, he's building us up, oh God, in the name of Jesus. If we just don't get weary and well doing, but we will reap, hallelujah, if we faint not. We can't faint today, saints. We done come too far, my God, from where we started from. Hallelujah, God. Nobody told us that the road would be easy, but I don't believe he brought us this far to leave us. My God, I don't care what we're going through. Hard trials and tribulation. Hallelujah. He's going to bring us through. He's going to see us through. My God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord today because we're not going to turn in the towel. We're not going to quit. We're not going to give up. My God, we're going to stand. We're not going to deny his name. My God, in the name of Jesus. And we bless him today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, God. I just thank you today. And we praise you, oh God, for this hour of prayer. Yes, my God, this is a weapon. I, I said at the beginning of this prayer time, hallelujah, that I saw the warriors as the Johns of the Baptist. My God, we're in the wilderness crying out, hallelujah, preparing the way of the Lord because he's coming. Who bless the name of God. We are preparing the way for his second coming. My God, in the name of Jesus, we're, we're building up the waste places, the broken places. Hallelujah. The burnt down walls. We are plant, praying, hallelujah, that God would prayer the breaches. My God, in the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. There may be someone on this line this morning that don't know Jesus in the pardon of their sin. They don't know that God has a purpose, a peace, and a plan for their life. My God. Hallelujah. God wants them to experience the very life that he has created for them. My God, in the name of Jesus. What's the problem? The problem is that we missing a relationship with God. Hallelujah. My God, he created us to have a relationship with him. But the problem is the, de the sin debt that needed to be played paid in your life. My God, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. And the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So many times, hallelujah, broken people, hallelujah, attempt to fill that void in their life with many other things. My God, they're trying to bridge the gap who bless the name of God, but seeming like everything they build up comes crumbling down. Hallelujah. There's despair. There's no hope in it. It don't even stand, but God has built the bridge. Hallelujah. Where we can cross over and connect with him. And that's the bridge of the cross of Calvary. My God, in the name of Jesus, that is the only thing that God approved of to, to unite us back to him in a saving relationship is the cross. So what is our response? All we have to do is receive by faith Jesus, hallelujah, and the work that he's done for us, my God, in the name of Jesus. So you ask, what do I need to do to be saved? Well, you got to first admit that you were sinning and that you need to be saved. You need to be forgiven of all of your sins, Hallelujah. You got to be willing to turn from your sin. Hallelujah. You got to trust Jesus. Hallelujah. And him dying on the cross. Hallelujah. And being rolled again from the grave. We got to invite Jesus in our heart. Hallelujah. And, and lead us into this new relation in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You got to receive him as your Lord and your Savior. That if you want to do that this morning, you believe what we said, hallelujah, you realize that you done ran out of options. Hmm. There's no other way that you done tried everything, but none of it worked. But I tell you to try Jesus this morning in the name of Jesus. So this is the prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me. Dear God, I know I'm a sinner. I want to turn from my sin. And I ask you now, oh God, to forgive me of all my sins. I believe, hallelujah, that Jesus is the son of God. Hallelujah. And I believe that he died for my sins. Who glory to God. And that you raised him up from the grave, my God, to life eternally. I want him to come into my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And take control of my life. I want to trust Jesus as my Savior and follow him as my Lord this day forward. Hallelujah. Devil, I'm through with you. I'm sick of your deceptions, your manipulations, and your lies. I'm turning to God this day. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. My God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank the Lord today. Hallelujah. That was the greatest decision that you ever made in your whole entire life. It was an e a decision that hinged on eternity for you. My God. Hallelujah. God has placed you into his kingdom of life. Hallelujah. He placed you in his hand. And the Bible said there is nobody can pluck you out of God's hand. Your name has been written in the Lamb's book of life. And the angels in heaven is rejoicing, and so are we. Now, if you pray that prayer sincerely out of the depths of your heart in faith, you may not feel nothing right now. Hallelujah. But we ain't based this on feeling. We basing it on the faith of Jesus Christ, my God, in the name of Jesus. Now, if you prayed that prayer in sincerity, I need you to write me a little email and let me know that you've given your heart to Christ. 
and send it to new life in the letter in Christ 20 at gmail.com. Again, new life in the letter in Christ 20 at gmail.com. Hallelujah. I like to hear from you. You may even just have a prayer request that you want to email. Go ahead and send it there and we'll be praying for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Well, hallelujah. We come to the end of our broadcast. Hallelujah of the midnight prayer in the war room. Hallelujah on the third watch. We're going to meet again tomorrow morning at 1230 a.m. I need you to tell somebody about this broadcast, share this video with a loved one that you know that's not saved, that they may get an opportunity to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. Somebody that may not ever, never step their foot in a church building, but oh God, they don't have to be in the church building to come to know you and to partner their sins. My God, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, because we they be in trouble because all the doors of the churches is closed. My God, but we are on the line this morning. Hallelujah. By the way of command of God to just offer salvation to him in Jesus name. So come on in, share this video with someone, invite a friend or a loved one. Hallelujah. Now we're going to depart from this place, but not from God's presence. Hallelujah. Without the loss of none until we meet again, being watchful unto prayer. Now, Lord, hallelujah. We bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord, hallelujah, be gracious unto you. And may the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And let him name you, my God, with the name that is above every name. And that is the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you tonight. And we praise you now in Jesus' name. Stay on the wall. Don't come down. Be like Nehemiah. Don't pay no attention to Tobiah and Sam Ballard because they just running their mouth. That's all they doing, making a lot of noise. They can't give you no joy, no peace, nothing. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. And I want to say to each and every one of you, thank you. Thank you for going for it in the Lord. Hallelujah. And, and letting your request be made known unto God. Life was spoken unto us. Encouragement was given. De declarations was made tonight. Oh, glory to God. Who bless the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. I just want to say, stay on the wall. Hallelujah. And good morning to everyone. Hallelujah. For another day's journey with the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.